Once you guys start exploring the town, eventually you're going to come across these survivors who were lucky enough not to get infected by the curse or not to be hunted down by the other crazies living around in the neighborhood. But either way, once you knock on their doors or on their windows in some rare cases, don't worry, this isn't for all the survivors. Eventually the game will give you these two options and they're going to give you the option to either send them to the chapel or to the clinic. You can find Sefka's clinic right at the first area in which you spawn in the game. Simply just turn around and head upstairs and you'll find her. Once you find her, um, she'll give you the option to send survivors her way. But don't be fooled because pretty much she's a monster and any survivors you send her way, she's pretty much going to kill them. But if you do give her survivors or tell survivors about her shelter, she's going to give you items where the other guy doesn't really give you anything. All right, you can find Odin's chapel right after you defeat the boss, Father Gascoigne, and you guys can't really miss this. Like, come on. It's right in the plain sight, and it's in the main path of the game's campaign or storyline. But yeah, either way, once you get done talking to him, the game will also give you the option to send survivors to, the, to Odin's way. If you send them to Odin's chapel, they're pretty much gonna survive. So yeah, if you wanna be the good guy, just send them to the chapel. But if you want items, you could also send them to the clinic in which they'll be experimented on and they'll probably get a horrible death or something like that. But hey, it's all done behind closed doors and in the end, you'll end up fighting Yosefka. I heard she was a boss in the game. And I also want to tell you guys that you could get the items that the clinic would give you if you just kill the survivors in the chapel. Either way, do what you gotta do, and that's pretty much all I have to say.